Welcome back to Math Party, people. So, we know that the answer is going to be 25 hours here, but again, it's about the why. It's not about knowing and memorizing the answer. It's about why the answer makes sense. So, here we go. And in case you didn't know, we got a free class on this tonight at 6 p.m. Eastern Time, if you're watching this video the day it came out. So, go ahead and make sure to sign up for our free classes, which includes automatic registration to our free practice test that has video solutions. So, you can basically make a list of topics that you need to work on, learn from every mistake, and keep basing the ASVAB. So go ahead and click the link, find that practice test, and sign up that we can join us in class. Let's taste the ASVAB. First step, as always, read that question. And it says, if they work constantly, which is extra information, it says, how long will it take to remove the dirt? That's the true question. You know, the information you have is that they're working constantly. But again, how long will it take to remove the dirt? That is what we're looking for. So right here, step one, it's uh, you know it's gonna be you know time to remove dirt. Boom, right there. All right, so we're taking a look at the rest of the information and we're gonna make a decision as to what we're gonna do with these numbers. But remember, it's about knowing what the numbers mean so you know what to do with them. Then the calculating comes in. So don't worry about the calculating until you know what to do. Let's go. So. It reads here, a construction company needs to remove 10 tons of dirt from a construction site. They can remove two fifths of a ton of dirt every hour. So we have 10 tons of dirt to remove. So 10 tons of dirt, here's our info. 10 tons of dirt to remove. And then we see here, they can remove two fifths of a ton of dirt every hour. So. When we see the phrase, you know, every hour, that's the same thing as saying per hour or for each hour. Either way, it's the same thing in that key word, each or per or uh, for every. Those all mean that we're either going to be multiplying or dividing every single time. So let me write this out here. 10 tons of dirt and then you can remove two fifths of a ton every hour. You can call that per hour again the word per for every or each will always tell you that you're multiplying or dividing the only way that you can know which one it's going to be it's going to be asking yourself am i working forward or working backwards am i trying to get to the result or am i trying to find a piece of information so what i mean by the result is am i trying to find out how much total dirt we're removing or am i trying to find out how much time or the speed, like which one are we looking for? And what we're looking for here again is the time it's gonna to take to get there. So we're looking for the time it's gonna to take to get to the result. One more time. We're looking for the time it's gonna to take to get to the result of 10 tons. And what that means is we're working backwards. We already have the result. The result is 10 tons. We're working backwards here. And so that's one way to think about it. One more way to think about it is going to be thinking about distance equals rate times time. Distance equals rate times time also applies to non distance problems. And so if you want to join me in my math boot camp and in my live classes for these uh, kind of problems for distance equals rate times time, I talk about exactly how it's not just about distance. It can be anything you're trying to accomplish that you can use that equation for. So look forward to that. But I'm going to tackle this the regular way here. Here's what we're trying to achieve 10 tons. We know it's 10, two fifths ton per hour, per hour. And since we're trying to work backwards to get the time, not the result, but the time we need to divide. Thanks for going ahead and taking the time to raise your score. I know it's not easy. I know it's tough. I know you got a lot to work through. So I do appreciate you. I'm Coach Anderson. And if you wouldn't mind, please go ahead and subscribe to our channel. That way you can get updated as we continue posting daily. So you can continue getting the help and the advice you deserve. So again, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Let's keep rocking the ASVAB. And so what we're doing here, it's going to be 10 divided by 2 fifths tons per hour. Right there. We are working backwards. So again, the word each means multiply or divide. We're dividing here because we're working backwards. So with that said, we got a division problem, but we got a division problem with fractions which means we're gonna have to go ahead and do a little bit of keep change flip. So if you don't remember how to divide fractions, remember we are going to keep the first number, change the operation 
and flip the second fraction. So it's like KFC, but KCF. And so we'll keep the 10. And you can write 10 as 10 over 1 if you want to, because again, we are going to be dealing with fractions. And so again, 10 and 10 over 1 is the same thing as 10. If you have 5, that's 5 over 1. If you have 17, 17 divided by 1. It's all the same. So hopefully that's okay. Then we change the operation over here to a multiplication from division. And then we'll flip that second fraction from 2 over 5 to 5 over 2. And so there it is. We'll multiply. Let me zoom on in a little bit. And what we're going to do here is do our job. 10 multiplied by 5 is 50. 1 multiplied by 2 is 2. That's how many hours we're going to have. But I think we can simplify a little bit here. Because 50 divided by 2, that's going to be 25. And so since we have 25, there it is right there. 25 hours. That is the time that it'll take to get this dirt removed from the construction site. And so there it is, my party people. We are good. C is the answer. 25 hours. And I'll see you in the next video.